My name is Melissa Maker and I am an accidental cleaning expert, which means I hate cleaning, but I find the most efficient and effective ways to get the job done right the first time. And in 2006 is when I started my cleaning business. I would kindly call myself a rookie at that point. I, I was actually pretty clueless in cleaning and I had a lot to learn. So what I'd like to do in this video is tell you some of those rookie mistakes, sometimes embarrassing because they happen in front of clients, uh, and I'd like to show you how to avoid those. What inspired me to write this video was a near injury because I was sweeping and I almost tripped over a chair that was behind me, which brings me to the point of always know your surroundings, know what's behind you, especially if you're cleaning backwards. So what you can do, of course, you can sort of assess the space so that you know what to avoid, those pitfalls, but you can also clear the path. And this in general makes cleaning easier. So when I'd be at a home doing a professional clean, I would flip chairs carefully onto a table if that was appropriate for the furniture, or I would move the items that were movable entirely out of the room that took up floor space. Something that really frustrated me, and I know this gets so many people about cleaning, is it seems like the job can be never ending. So if you find yourself cleaning the same surface multiple times, I want you to rethink how you're doing the cleaning. Specifically, first you wanna make sure you're pre-treating a dirty surface so that you don't have to sit there and scrub the same area for like two minutes to get it clean. Second, you only wanna clean a surface once. If you find yourself cleaning it and then going back to it, adding more product, cleaning again, or just not paying attention to what you've cleaned, then you're gonna be wasting time. So if you approach this strategically, you pre-treat the surface so that the product does the job and you don't have to, and you follow a pattern, the S pattern, working your way around the room from top to bottom, left to right, blah, blah, blah. It's all the stuff in the three-wave system. You are not going to re-clean a surface and you are going to save time cleaning. Before you start vacuuming, empty your vacuum canister because if you try to vacuum with a full canister, your vacuum will not vacuum. I don't know how many times I said vacuum in a sentence, but the idea is you want an empty vacuum before you get to work or else your vacuum will not suck. So it'll suck. In the professional cleaning world, there is what's known as dry cleaning, not laundry, but dry cleaning, no product, and wet cleaning with product, cloth, tool being wet. If you attack a dusty surface with a wet cloth, so if you start with wet cleaning, you are gonna have way more mess on your hand. So I like to kind of quickly dust off with a microfiber cloth, my kitchen counter or my mantle, and then I follow through with my wet cleaning. That way I can lift up any dirt, fingerprints, grease, etc., with my cloth. There's this funny meme that I've seen on Instagram that says that stupid walk that you do after you've just mopped the floor and you're trying to get out of a room, or I'm paraphrasing. But we all know that little twinkle toes walk that we've done before when we realize we have mopped ourselves into the exact corner that we shouldn't be in in a room we've just finished cleaning, which is why you should always orient yourself to the opposite of the exit point of the room before you start mopping. That way you mop yourself, vacuum yourself, sweep yourself out of the room instead of into the corner. If I can get you to clean like a ninja, then I've done my job. And that brings me to this week's common question, which is what is your least ninja-like cleaning mistake that you've ever made? Like the sloppiest, crummiest thing that you've ever done while you were cleaning. I will tell you a brief story and I will include a quick tip in that as well. One time I was at a client's home and I was cleaning a picture frame. The picture frame fell on the floor because the client didn't hang it up properly. They used a push tack. But you know what? I didn't know that. And from there, I always learned that when I clean something, I support it with my non-dominant hand, and then I do the cleaning with my dominant hand to avoid any falling picture frames. So let me know what your cleaning blunder was in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.